Hi guys, this is Dr. Fashana. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Like always, it's such an honor to connect with you. Today, I want to talk about how to get rid of overwhelm and be able to function in overstimulating environments. How to get rid of overwhelm and be able to function in overstimulating environments. Number one, I want you to use the zone out technique. Basically, you picture yourself like if you wear glasses and you don't have your glasses on, you're squinting and you see things a little blurry, basically I want you to just zone it out. So it's called the zone out technique. Just, just keep doing what you need to be doing and zone out all the external noise. Just like la 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 la. Just like zone it out, right? Even if you need to sometimes just take those glasses off and just, if you can, like still walk without those glasses and just really internalize what I mean by zone out technique. Next, you can say it is loud right now and it's okay, I accept you. It is overwhelming right now, and it's okay, I accept you. There is a big crowd around me, and it's okay, I accept you. That's another technique, right? How to get rid of overwhelm and be able to function in overstimulating environments. Next strategy is take ownership of your space. Take ownership of your space. So let's say you are, there's external, the, the external stim, stimulation. You still have control of your space. So take ownership of it, be it your office space, be it your desk, be it your classroom, be it whatever, just your bubble ar around you. That's your space. Take ownership of it, right? Like what you're going to allow, what you're going to, what routines you're going to practice, continue to practice. So you, you kind of honor that space, right? And your mental health. Next, take ownership of your role. Remind yourself of who you are, what your role is in this dynamic or in this overstimulating environment. Be it an educator, be it a, a parent, be it a supervisor, whatever it is, take ownership of your role and be that compassionate space, right? And remind yourself like, hey, I'm the educator, you're the student. I'm the parent, you're the child, right? Or whatever dynamic that that's externally occurring doesn't change what your role is, right? So if you remember that role, right, you'll start living, you know, fulfilling and being that, reaching that in, in, to, in, to your true potential, right? So honor that as well. So again, what are the simple techniques? Use the zone out technique method, uh, take ownership of your space, ex process, say I it is loud right now and it's okay, I accept you. It is crowded here right now and it's okay, I accept you. And then th take ownership of your role, okay? The space and ownership of your space and ownership of your role. Okay, guys, I hope this is helpful. Take care of yourself.